What's your Everest? Sometimes on our journey toward the summit, in order to go upward, we have to go downward. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's true. Take the trek to Everest Base Camp. It's a perfect example. You leave the Nepalese uh, capital of Kathmandu, and you fly in a small little plane to this mountainside runway in the town of, or little village really, of Lukla. From there, you unload your gear, and immediately, once you've passed the gates of the village, go down, down. All this elevation you've had already from the airport, you lose as you walk down the valley to the Dude Cozy River, walking along its banks, only then to have to gain that elevation again that you already had, this sense of loss and sometimes frustration. And this is the case. It's not just a one-time occurrence on that trek to base camp. It happens multiple times. In fact, the next day, you wake up, you leave Namchi, and you begin heading toward what you think will be a slow and steady progression toward your goal. But soon enough, the trail starts heading down again, down to the river. We were just at the river. Why did we go all the way up if we have to go all the way back down again? Sure enough, down to the river you go to hike up the steep slope to the, the Tengboshe Monastery. And there you were rewarded with amazing views. Everest way off in the distance, surrounding peaks in this amazing place. Stopping there for lunch and then continuing your journey, thinking for sure, okay, now we're heading toward base camp. And once again, whew, the trail starts drifting downward. These rises and falls are all part of the progress. You may not be hanging on to the elevation you've already gained, but you are getting closer to your objective. You are getting closer to your summit. And they're not always just physical rises and falls. They can also be you know, emotional or psychological. Sometimes our motivation or our enthusiasm for our goal is as though we're on that high shoulder looking at it in the distance. And other times we feel like we're down in the valley floor, surrounded by trees, maybe not making the progress that we'd hoped that we would. This is part of the journey. The rise and the fall, the rise and the fall, and understanding that that fall won't necessarily last forever. That with the consistency of your efforts, step after step, progress is being made. Your summit is getting closer. So keep climbing. 